hey, I get it. We all just want to go back to our lives and not have to feel this uncomfortable anxiety all the time. But the reality is if you want to start to master your anxiety and get to a place where it doesn't keep coming up. It's something that is really easy to manage and you actually ride gracefully through uh, those different sensations in your body, then there's something we all have to get better at. And that is getting comfortable with feeling uncomfortable. <laughs> so we have to get used to feeling our uncomfortable emotions, such as sadness, grief, frustration, anger, and anxiety if you want to become better at managing your anxiety and getting to a place where life doesn't overwhelm you yes it would be great if we could just flick a magic switch or take a pill that takes the anxiety away and sometimes we can do that but the reality is that does not address your anxiety long term you're not actually getting to the root cause here and for so many of us so, so much of our anxiety is about the fact that we really struggle with Getting, letting ourselves sit with the emotion, letting ourselves sit with the discomfort. So something that I would invite you to practice is closing down your eyes, taking a deep breath, noticing how you are feeling in your body, and then actually notice how the anxiety feels. Notice where it is or whatever uncomfortable emotion or sensation you're feeling. Notice where it is, notice how it feels, and just let yourself experience it. Just let yourself witness it. Let yourself observe it. This is one of the key techniques that I talk my clients and my program members through in a lot of detail. And we practice it and practice it until it is something that is almost second nature. And then those moments of anxiety, they don't last all day. They don't last for very long. They last for minutes when they come up because we are so attuned and so well practiced at letting ourselves feel it, letting ourselves be there and knowing that the only escape from anxiety is to go with it and go into the anxiety, embracing it. Your anxiety has a message for you. It is trying to communicate to you uh, something important that you need to address. And that might be something that's out of balance in your life. It might be something that's really obvious. It might be something more subtle. It could be nutritional, hormonal, something to do with your gut health. There are so many facets to this. And that's why I've created the, the anxiety reset method to investigate all the components that contribute to anxiety so that we can get on with living our lives and achieving our dreams and doing everything that we want to be doing in our lives. I hope that's been really helpful for you today. And if it has been, please leave a comment below and I will make more of these videos.